So here we have a beaver bank lodge and it's nice clear ice. I just figured I'd you know shoot some video for you guys before the snow hits and you can't see nothing. See this trail here underneath the ice of bubbles comes up right through here right back underneath this log here and if you can see right back there um, there's there's not a run back there but what it is is the beaver are up there chewing trees and you can see um, you know last night or the night before they busted through to uh, pull some more trees back in here but there is that run there let's go over and take a look at this the lodge and well it's really not even a lodge just a little pile of mud on the shore in the in the feed pile but okay there's this little mess of a lodge here here's the feed pile you know I trapped one here a number of years ago and I could have swore there was just a giant culvert underneath the road here so I'm not sure if this is actually a lodge up in there or if this is just you know where they put the feed pile at because I, I mean there's bubbles here and stuff I'm gonna I'll chop some holes and, and find the runs but it looks like down here I can see a couple of large areas of bubbles going up to the shoreline that definitely signify an entrance to a bank den right here is one very apparent one uh, yes you can see right there I can see the milky colored bottom on that and and you guys can see all the bubbles of course And yes, the ice is cracking, but I have waders on, so if I go through, I'm not going through too deep. I'm gonna keep on going down here. See if we can find another one. And, uh, yep. Right here, there's another one. You can see, see all the rocks and everything on the bottom here. The be from the beavers digging out to get up into that run there. That's one more. I don't think I don't see any other bubbles down here any further. But that's not saying there isn't more. But run here, run down there, feed pile. Um, I'm gonna grab a couple 330s, come back down here with my rubber gloves chop some holes, set some traps, and hopefully tomorrow I can show you guys a beaver or two I caught. All right? So you were here with me yesterday, checked out this beaver lodge here, set a couple traps. I checked one trap back here, nothing in it. Um, there's this other trap I set up here, though so there's definitely something in that. And that is the run that I pointed out where the trail of bubbles here comes under the ice and they are up in there cutting trees. Trying to get a little bit of last minute food stash in. But I have a, you can see where they've been coming out up there. And right there I got a 330 where they go under this log kinda and there's definitely something in there. Let's pause it, I'll set the camera up and we'll take a look. All right. Grass out of your guys' way here. Alright. Got my safety stick here. Now it seems like I've, I've knelt on it and busted it, but oh well. I'm guessing that there's only two I'm guessing there's only two beaver in this lodge. It's it's the first year that they've built in here in quite a while. Um, I was hoping, you know, hoping, I mean it's trapping so it's not, nothing's ever guaranteed, but I was kind of hoping that uh, I would get both of them the first night and I could pull my traps out of here. That didn't happen, oh well. Chop this, chop this bull aisle 330 out. We'll get a look. 
out there. Ah, of course. Frozen in the ice, why wouldn't it be? <laughs> If you got something that's frozen in the ice, you gotta be really careful when you're chopping it out. Like here, I'm not swinging wildly. I'm just just tapping it real nice through. You know, I don't wanna I don't wanna chop into that fur. There we go. Whatever it is, it's free. I got a feeling I suitcased it, or I got it by the front shoulders. And it is a good sized beaver. I caught him coming in. There you go. Get that trigger out of there. There we go. That's a nice beaver, you know. That's gonna be an extra large. And that's about that's honestly about what I expected out of here was an extra large beaver about this size. But well I'm gonna take this guy out of the trap. Hell, hell, I'll take him out of the trap right now. You said it, I'll show you how, how quick it can be. You can use setters if you want, as I've showed you in other videos, but with the right leverage, these springs come off very fast and very easily. There we go. Beaver's out of the trap. Got my conner bear here ready again. Kind of funny, three days ago, everything was open. Now there's almost five inches of ice on most of my sloughs. Okay. Take my safeties off. Take the other safety off. Push my springs way down, at least in this in this application. There we go, my 330 back in the water. Push it down, probably about four inches below the water. That way if it gets cold, which it's not gonna get too cold, jaws won't freeze the ice. Put my swivel stick right back in that trap. You guys have seen me put swivel sticks in other sets before. There you go. That's that is reset that fast. Got my safety stick here. I'll just wrap this wire around it real quick. Shallow run with logs in it. Nothing's gonna go anywhere if I catch it anyway. I'll just set it off to the side here. Here we go. Nice extra large beaver. Through the ice it, it might be blanket it's, it's pretty good size but i don't know we'll see all right hey thanks for watching everybody so we got this small beaver house out here um it's right next to a public access so the beaver really need to go that way nobody gets you know gets hurt and falls in but this beaver house is maybe two and a half feet tall two feet tall little feed pile got a bank den over here or I should say across there. And then they got a bank den right here. You can see, plain as day, there's the lodge, there's the run, coming this way. See the bubbles? See the yellow color under the ice there? Bubble trail, you can follow it right. This is the nice thing about clear ice. You can follow it right up to the bank. And I got a 330 tucked in right here. And it actually goes up to that culvert there. There's, they have a bank down on the left hand side of that culvert that goes up underneath there. There could be otters and stuff using it too, which would be really nice because I could use another otter this year. Um, but yeah, so we're going to see what uh, this place holds. So we're at a lake access here. Um, and you can see there's this beaver house here. This beaver house, it's kind of funny. I'm just gonna show you how, how, how small this beaver house is, okay? 
This thing is honestly tiny. Smallest beaver else in the world. All right, beaver house. I don't know, two feet tall, itty bitty feed pile. Um, the runs under the bog, so I couldn't set it. Over here, there was a bank den that I could set. There's some rat houses out there that I'm gonna set here in a few minutes. But you can see the bubble trail. If it's clear ice, you can follow that all the time, every time. Comes right around this corner here. Bang, right there. There's a bank den. And I set a 330 in that bank den yesterday. Um, you know what, I, I haven't pulled, the, obviously I haven't pulled the beaver out yet, but I'm just going to guess that this is a very small beaver. A house that small, that small of a feed pile, um, generally is going to be an extremely small beaver. There could be, a, it, you know, it's probably a, a pair of like larges, I'm guessing. But I mean, or that or, either that or it's just going to be a, a giant, a giant old bachelor. So, let's find out, you know, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Catch on them. Right around the front shoulders. That's going to be a... Might make an extra large, but more than likely it'll be a large. And I got them coming in. this spring down Push this spring down got my beaver all right reset my trap quick And yes, this is a public access. Um, you're not gonna catch anyone's dog in this set. There is a chance that someone could steal it. So that's, you know, that's the downside of it all, of course. There's a trap. I know everybody, everybody there hates trap thieves <clears throat> as much as I do. I have arm link gloves in my van or in my truck, but I'm not gonna use them. There we go. This this run is easy. I mean, it's just like a bowl on both sides. Oh, that's thick in there. The other side here. This stick through here. Trap is nice and sturdy. <coughs> I'm going to drive this into the bottom as my safety stick. There we go, my trap's reset. This, these, are, these are nuisance beaver, by the way. This feed pile being right, being right next to a public access, um, creates problems for anyone that's fishing this lake. I mean, a beaver house right next to an access, that means thin ice all winter long. I mean, people could drive out here and go through and drown and anything could happen. So it's uh, nice to be taking these beaver out of here. Okay, so took a video the other day of this place here. Um, got that little beaver house next to this public access. We caught one in this bank den uh, yesterday. 
believe it was yesterday. Yes, it was yesterday. Anyway, I knew there was one more beaver in here. Um, the run on the hose is underneath the bog or underneath the feed pile. Um, checked this trap this morning. Nothing in it. Came back to check a few of my muskrat traps uh, just now. And because I had I had this stick in here before holding the trap in, but I also had one more stick holding the trap in on this side. So as I walked by, I noticed this one was gone, and I thought to myself, uh, it wasn't like that this morning. So, oh my gosh, huh, you're not gonna believe this. This beaver's. I, I okay. I could have swore he was just moving. Yeah, that's yeah. I don't know. No, it's maybe. I don't know. No. Okay, he's dead. I could have swore it was just moving. Oh well. Guess I was wrong. There it is. There's the other beaver out of this house. As you can see, it's I mean I just caught it not too long ago. It's still it's still limp. But this one here is gonna be a large, I would say. And I knew they weren't gonna be giant beaver by the size of that feed pile and the size of that house there. I knew they were gonna be fresh beaver from this year. But anyway, trapped all these beaver out of this uh, small colony here, and that's a good thing because we don't want anyone getting in trouble or drowning anything over there. Um, coming on the lake here this winter time. So bingo bango. Got this river here. Um, it flows through out into a lake out there. There's a big beaver lodge out at the mouth of the river out here, about 150 yards. Well, there's always a there's always a bank down under this tree up here every year. Well, a couple years ago it was under this tree, but lately it's been up under this tree here. And I set a 3:30 in it yesterday, and from here I can see beaver floating right there. See it? Looks like a good size one too. Oh yeah, it is. Look at that. Nailed him right there in that belial. Ha ha ha. I love to see floating beaver. This is a big this is a big beaver. Um let's see here. Unwire my 330 here quick. Big tail on it too. that head catch on it it's a dark that's a really dark beaver actually really dark and that blow made short work of them but I'm gonna set it up here there we go got one more beaver spot to check before I go before I get home I have to be home in an hour my wife's gonna whoop my butt some of you trappers know how it goes. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna reset this trap. Uh, what up, everybody? It's December something here in Minnesota. Um, if you're in Minnesota, you know because it was raining out this morning and it shouldn't be raining in December, especially in Minnesota. Anyway, got a beaver lodge down there against railroad tracks. Um, they're cutting these guys' trees down. And what I did was, Normally there'd be a bunch of bank dens along these railroad tracks here. You know, that's what, that's what generally what you find. And I come along here with my chisel and I find them and I set them. Well, I brought four 330s down here. I found a bunch of bank dens. And the really good ones, like this one here, have actually opened back up. So you can see I got a 330 right there. Um, I do have a log over it to make the beaver dive. Um, it's, you know, it's... It is what it is, you know, it's open water now, so a beaver comes out and you can swim right over the top of that trap. So I gotta make sure and, you know, get them to dive under that trap. I could try to try to get it right up into the bank up there, but I'd have to dig some stuff out and I don't wanna do that, so. There's a big culvert that goes under the railroad tracks here. There's another wide open bank den, but with the weather warming up, it's actually collapsed and caved in up there. So I left that one. Got another bank den right here. 
Um, there's a three, a actually a Belial 330 in there. I'm gonna step over it. Whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? There's a beaver. I stepped over this trap and a beaver just got caught in this trap. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Literally, I stepped over it and a beaver got caught in it. Gosh, he must have been moving. He got caught way back there. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, hold on. I better pause it. Okay, now that was insane. Shooting a video of my sets. I step over this bank down. I just sat with that 330. And this beaver come out and got whacked by it. Right, I mean, right as we stepped over it. You just seen him in that trap. That's, that's gonna be a blanket. <laughs> Talk about results, eh? Well, there's a lot of bank dens in here. I'm hoping there's gonna be more than two beaver. I mean, I don't know how two beaver would have a run in the house and seven bank dens. That is amazing. Well, I'll shoot some video of the other bank tents here, and then uh, we'll see what we got tomorrow. Okay, another uh, another bank den here. See my 330 there? Another another dive stick over it. Then you have the lodge with the feed pile. Um, Generally, lodges have more than one more than one run coming out of it. You can see down there, my 330 is guarding the only run coming out of the front of this lodge. So hopefully tomorrow we'll have some more beaver, another big beaver, whatever. And uh, we'll get some of that on video. Well, there it is. Sayonara, beaver house. We'll be seeing you tomorrow. So I shot a video of this beaver house yesterday. Um, you saw me catch a beaver in a trap here. There's that beaver right there. It was nice and warm, so I just wired it to my chisel, stuck it in the bottom so it could cool down overnight. Here is that r trap in front of the lodge, that single hole coming out. And I can see there's something in it. Is that a beaver? Something in it right there, you guys see it? There's the head. Maybe it's a little beaver. Nope, it's a big one. Look at that. Ha ha ha. Right by the head, too. You see, I suppose I say that a lot, don't I? <clears throat> if I can get my 330 up here. Look at that. Stopped him in his tracks. Ugh. There we go. Look at that. Deadly set is what I got to say. Well, it's two big beaver out of here. Um, it could be, you know, I'll, I'll pause it and check these other traps. There's nothing in these traps. There's probably no more beaver in here. But let's go down and check it out. There's that 330 right there. Still set. Old beaver house right here. Whoa. There's a, there is a, I mean, there's a bank den right here, not very well used one. Um, I've caught otters around here in the past, so I wouldn't be surprised if I caught an otter by accident somewhere. Yeah, there's that other, there's that, there's that bank den I caught that beaver in yesterday when you guys were watching. Huh. There's that other bank den right there. That set with that dive stick on it. Nothing in that 330. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. To be perfectly honest. That's probably the only two beaver in here. I should have had more beaver. If there's gonna be, if there were small ones, I would have had more. So, hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I'll be pumping out some more soon. Hey everybody. So, I'll just give you a quick wrap up. I, sh you know, I shot some video of uh, this beaver house right here behind me in our feed pile. I caught those two beaver out of it today. Uh, there they are, right here. You can see uh, both of them are, you know, 
I'd say they're both they're they're gonna be borderline extra large blanket. But I thought it was just really neat trapping this beaver lodge, you know, open water in December. Got both big beaver, you know. And uh yeah. But anyway, I'll get out there, do some trapping. Thanks for watching.